Rotary blast hole drill technology continues to evolve, and our I-Series line of rotary drills continues to grow, especially with the addition of the DR410i. I'm here today with Paul Morgan, our sales support manager for rotary drills. Thanks for being here today, Paul. No problem. Glad to be here. Before we drill into the latest technology, can you give us a little history on where we've been and where we're going with rotary blast hole technology? Sure. So in the past, it's always been, you know, uh, when, when we talk about rotary blast hole machines, it's always been a, a manual type of drilling, not, not necessarily hand shovels and, and, and wheelbarrows, but, it, but it's been a, a very tribal knowledge uh, area. It's been a, this is the way we've always done it right. and, and not a whole lot of, of change or willingness to change sometimes. But in recent years, um, mine sites have really started asking uh, more data-based questions and looking for data-based uh, answers. Um, asking more questions like, what's the total cost of ownership of this machine? How is this machine going to bring value to my operation? How is this going to improve my production efficiencies? Uh, those are some of the key questions that we that we were asked before we started the design process with the DR410, and we started and we tried to engage and and solve some of those challenges and some of those questions that customers were asking with the DR410. Okay. So briefly, what can you tell us about the DR410i? So the DR410i is a medium-sized rotary or DTH blast hole drill. Uh, it is capable of both single-pass and multi-pass drilling. Uh, the single pass mast is a 14 meter mast or 46 feet with a maximum depth capable of 32 meters or 102 feet. The multi pass mast, generally for uh, coal or soft rock applications, is a 10 meter first pass to a maximum depth of 46 meters or 145 feet. We talked about designing it and some of the purposeful design work that we did. Um, what were some of those key design criteria? So the, the, the design charter for the machine was to drill safe, reliable, and, pr and efficient production holes and reduce the total cost of ownership for the mine site. As an example, a large portion of our market uh, for this class of drill is drilling 10 to 12 meter benches. So our extended mast option of 14 meters in one pass offers a significant operational benefit. Increased hydraulic and pneumatic system efficiency helps reduce the horsepower requirements, reducing the machine's carbon footprint. We've developed a completely new ergonomic cab, offering greater visibility and seat-mounted controls. Well, it sounds like there was a lot of forethought put into this machine before the design even went on paper. Sure was. Well, our I-Series rigs are designed with four key pillars in mind, and each of these pillars is designed to contribute to the overall TCO of the drill rig. Can you walk us through each of these pillars? Sure. Those pillars are technology, productivity, maintainability, and sustainability. Technology, we're focused on a practical solution that adds value to the complete excavation process, from onboard operator assist functions that increase quality and repeatability to offboard data delivery that enhances downstream processes, including remote operations to enhance operator safety and comfort. For productivity, it's functionality that increases the machine's productivity from the technology to increasing the single pass capability to 14 meter clean holes. Maintainability, a real focus on increasing uptime and reducing personnel to machine contact. As a part of the SICA control system, we get intelligent diagnostics which are on board the drill and easily accessible to help the maintenance team more accurately fault find on the machine without the use of third party software and sustainability. With intelligent pump, power pack, and cooler controls, the DR410i manages the entire system load to reduce total energy consumption and the overall carbon footprint of the machine. Fantastic. We've got a rig out back. Let's take a walk out there and check it out. Let's go. All right. So here we are out at the 410i. Talk a little bit about the mast. What should we tell people about the mast? What's the most important thing? So this particular machine has an extended mast, the 14 meter mast. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 14 meter clean hole. Okay. Most mine sites that this machine is targeted for are drilling 10 to 12 meter holes. Plus sub drill, that makes the 14 meter mast ideal for their operation to improve efficiency and, and uh, speed of uh, the operation. Okay. Uh, the mast is also designed for sustainability. These mast design features result in increased strength and durability. This drives increased productivity 
and it delivers cleaner holes with reduced downtime and a lower cost of operation. Okay then, so we talked about this. Is there anything else, any other points that we, we want to make sure people understand or we want to move on? We can move on to the pipe handling. Okay, let's go check out the pipe and tool handling then. So when we talk about pipe and tool handling, we have to point out our patented loader system, mm -hmm. which is designed exclusively to work with our automation, automated pipe handling mm -hmm. and automated systems on the machine. The loader system, loader system works in conjunction with the power breakout system, especially when we talk about auto, uh, auto pipe handling. Now this power breakout system is designed by Sanvik. We are one of the only OEMs that offers a, a in-house design breakout system. What's so special about that? Well, when Sanvik controls the design of this, the breakout system, we can design this breakout system to work exclusively with our automated features. We don't have to adapt our automated features to work with someone else's design. This breakout jaw works in conjunction with the holding wrench, which all work together to improve our overall automated technologies and our automated pipe handling systems. Those automated te technologies lead to improved tool life mm -hmm. by inc increasing the tool joint life, uh, which decreases the total cost of ownership. Right. On the maintenance aspect here in this area, we look at the quick change rotary head, which is exclusive to uh, Sandvik drills. Mm -hmm. It allows us, when the rotary head reaches life, we can quickly remove and replace that rotary head, decreasing the amount of scheduled downtime, mm -hmm. increasing the, the amount of scheduled uptime or utilization, which increases overall productivity, decreasing the, the total cost of ownership. Okay, wonderful. So we got a lot of features here. We got a lot of features in the mast. Next, we need to talk about maintenance. So let's walk around the back and, and chat about maintenance. Great. So we're here on the deck, got a spacious work deck. What are some of the features of the maintainability of the rig? Well, the biggest key feature with the DR410 is we, we designed it so that the hydraulic filters were out and easily accessible. Mm -hmm. They're not buried back in next to components. And what's significant about doing that? Well, when they're easily accessible, we reduce the amount of time it actually takes to change that filter. Okay. When they're buried next to a component, it may take 15, 20 minutes to change that filter. Whereas we're out here on the deck, it's easily accessible, it's easily to quickly change the the filter. Great. The other item that the other advantage to having them out and about is we can get a, a pan underneath the, the filter. Mm -hmm. When we open these filters up to change those components, then uh, it generally leaks oil. Mm -hmm. We don't want that oil all over the place, all over the ground, and all over the drill. Right. So you can put a pan underneath it to capture that oil and dispose of it properly. So we're even thinking sustainability here when we're designing this rig because we're catching that oil and not getting anything on the ground. 100 percent. Great. What else you got for us? Well, from this position, the maintenance technician has easy access to, to the engine and, and, and the components in this area. It's easily accessible for him to change the oil filtration or the fuel filters on the, on the engine. He can also access the top of the engine for the maintenance items that need to be taken care of there. Okay. From this position, he can also ma maintain the receiver tank, which is part of our compressed air system. Uh, he, he has enough room to open the tank and change the filter inside. I noticed there's a ladder here that leads up to the mast. What can you tell us about that? Absolutely, this is our mast access point. So when the mast is in the horizontal position, we can use this ladder to access the mast and do any of the maintenance items that are required in the mast. Mm -hmm. the, ma the entire mast length has the same decking material that's actually on the deck of the machine. Mm -hmm. And we have a good working platform for any of the maintainers that have to do maintenance in the mast. The other key feature there is the lifeline kit. This okay. lifeline kit allows a safety certified point for the maintainer to connect to when he's in the mast, he connects his fall arrest system to it. A lot going on here for the maintainers. Let's see what's in it for the operators and check out the cab. Absolutely. All right, so here we are in the redesigned cabin. Paul, what are some of the key features in here? Well, one of the biggest features that we tried to pull in was, was just the operator ergonomics. Features like our full-size drilling window, which allows the operator a com complete and clean view of the drilling deck. Mm -hmm. We have features like our like the comfortable seat with lumbar support. All of his controls are attached to the seat and are easily accessible, so he doesn't have to reach or or uh, extend his body in any way. Including the GUI screen, the GUI touch screen, it actually is connected to the seat, and as you can see, moves with the seat. So the other question that's big on everybody's mind is automation. What's the rig got in terms of automation? So when we talk about our iDrill features, we talk about auto drill, we talk about auto pipe handling, we talk about uh, auto tram mm -hmm. and auto level and TIM 3D navigation. Right. Uh, so we can precision, precision navigate to a hole to within 10 centimeters of accuracy. Wow. Our auto drill feature 
we can engage the auto drill feature. We can drill to depth utilizing auto auto pipe handling. Mm -hmm. We can we can drill to the maximum depth of the machine. We can return that uh, pipe back to the carousel once the hole is complete. Mm -hmm. Once the hole is complete, we can auto de-level the machine and auto tram it to the next hole. So essentially, the operator can push one button and take care of a line of, of drilled holes. Great, so the operator becomes more of a, a supervisor of the drill rig then. 100%. Excellent, okay, great. It also allows us the ability to, for one operator to control multiple machines. Great, okay. Well, definitely using technology to the fullest on this rig, that is for sure. Absolutely. What do you say we jump down off the rig and wrap it up? Let's do it. All right. So the DR410 was built with sustainability in mind. Mm -hmm. With our options such as a tier, tier four or stage five engine emissions control system, uh, we can reduce the, the overall fuel burn of the machine, which reduces our carbon footprint. Excellent. The second control platform offers us a full load management system on the machine. So we control the, the amount of uh, full engine load that we're putting on the machine, mm -hmm. which also further reduces our fuel burn, which further reduces our carbon footprint. Excellent. Well, the DR410i is truly an impressive rig. Uh, it's got an optimum weight to power ratio. It's got a compact, intelligent design. And if I had to sum it up, I'd say it's productivity unmatched. 100%. Thanks for showing us the rig today. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you.